Hey guys, so yesterday we bought our RV, brought it home, but now we either have to use the generator and run that to have power in the RV, or we need to find a way to hook it up to our house. So today, that's what we're going to do. So we picked up a 50 amp receptacle. We're going to mount this outside of our garage on the wall. Coming out of the 50 amp receptacle, I'm gonna have this weather tight connection going to that cable. And then this cable inside the, the garage will go up to the breaker and I'll put this 50 amp breaker into our main power panel. So definitely hire a professional electrician if you don't know how to do it. But it's not very difficult if you learn the basics. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So in our, in our new RV, where our power goes in. Okay, so I ran the cable from the RV over to the garage here. This is our garage. And right behind this wall, I have our, our main power panel. It's a 100 amp main panel for the garage. It's actually a 100 amp panel coming from our house's 200 amp main panel. So all that matters, we have a 100 amp panel, we're gonna put a 50 amp breaker, so we just need to make sure that we don't have too many high amp loads on this breaker. In our case, the 50 amp breaker we're using will probably hardly ever, if at all, use anywhere near 50 amps, so we're good to go here. Okay, so here we are in the garage. This is the main garage Oops. panel. However, this comes off of our house's main 200 amp panel. So you'll see here there's no disconnect. So there's no way for me to shut power off to this panel. So that means I need to go back over to the house and over there is a 100 amp breaker which I can shut off which will kill power to the entire garage. So that way you'll be working with a totally dead system and we'll, we'll make sure that that breaker is opened there's no power, nobody can get to it, and we can safely work over here on this panel. And no power. Everything's dead. So you want to go back, make sure your meter's working. But, all right, we're de-energized. We're ready to install a breaker, run our cable. The cable's coming to the garage. We've got our black, red, green, and white wires. Again, right here, black and red. Those are our hots going to our new 50 amp breaker. The white is landed over here at the neutral bus bar. And the green ground wire is landed down there on the ground bus bar. Okay, we're going to prep our 50 amp receptacle box. We have our ground, which is landed down here. Our neutral, which will land right here, where it says is white, right there, white. And then this says X and Y. These are our two hots, red and black. So I'm gonna land these wires and be right back. Okay, so all of our wires are landed, our two hots, ground wire is already installed, and our neutral. Put it back together.
getting closer. Okay, we're back to the main panel. And right here is our 100 amp breaker. We're gonna close the breaker, re-energize power back to the garage, and let's see if this breaker stays on. Okay, lights are on, that's good. And we should now be hot. Hot. Our breaker is still open, the new breaker. So now we're gonna close it. All right. Hot, hot. Let's go up to our panel and give it a check. So, hot there. Hot there. It's currently saying that the batteries are low, 12.5 volts. They should be up, up in here when they're charged fully. So they recommend that you plug into a dead panel. So we're gonna kill the power. All right, it's now de-energized. We're gonna grab this and plug it up. All right. All right, so now power is hot. The coach should be getting 50 amps worth of power. And let's see what the meter says. It's charging up. All right. Okay, so uh, we now have 50 amp service powering our new RV. And that means that our battery charger is going to charge the batteries. If you want to run air conditioners or heaters or any appliances in the RV while we're parked, we don't have to use the batteries or generator. So hope this video helps anybody looking to do the same. Again, this is just how I did it. There's probably better and other ways to do it. And on our website, we have all kinds of other videos. And for this video, we'll also have more detailed information. Thanks for watching.